If we look at the Micrologix 1100 on the right hand side, we see a plastic cover. And if we remove that plastic cover, we see the Micrologix 1100's battery compartment as well as the black expansion I.O. port. Let's take a closer look. Now if we look at a 1762 expansion I.O. module, we see on the left hand side it has a ribbon cable with a connector at the end. To connect a 1762 expansion I.O. module to the Micrologix 1100, we simply plug that connector into the Micro 1100's expansion port. Then we put the expansion I.O. cover back onto the Micrologix 1100, and you can see here there's plenty of room for the ribbon cable to get out. Now, if we look at the front of the 1762 expansion I.O. module, we see another expansion I.O. port. That's so you can connect your next expansion I.O. module to this one. As far as mounting, you can see the expansion I.O. module supports the same mounting option as the Micro does, either DIN rail mounting or panel mounting. Well, that's it for today's episode. 